Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of the Puerto Rico Scabby channel. My name is Emanuel Santiago and today, yes, I am bringing you value. I am going to teach you on how to mount a GoPro Hero 10 Bones into the DJI Avada and I'm going to give you my opinions as well. So consider subscribing if you have any questions, any comments, any tips, any sort of uh, comment. Yeah, leave them in the comment section down below and let's get into this video. Okay, so before we begin with this DIY project, let's do a quick unboxing of the GoPro Hero 10 Bones, which is a surprisingly light, super lightweight camera. It only weighs 0.12 pounds. As you can see, very beautiful, very slick looking and very slim. Okay, now to the DIY. First things first, flip your drone and you will see that you will have to take off the four propellers. They both have two screws each. There, now taking two screws besides the two little sensor cameras that the drone has in the bottom part. And very carefully remove that optical cable that connects into it. They are very fragile, so be very careful. Next step, removing the antennas. When taking the antennas apart, they have multiple clips that attach these plastic pieces to them. So be really careful not to damage them because you will need them to really seal and protect the antenna from getting any sort of damage. Now, fun part. This 12 screws, you need to take them off to uh, really separate the motors from the frame itself. As you can see, very weakly. Now, two screws on the top, you flip the drone, and now you're ready to take the ducts. But before that, take off those four screws right there. You squish a little bit from the, on the center and it will fall down. The, the, the drone and the ducts will separate very nicely. You have to scrape a little bit of that um, shrink, uh, thingy the GoPro it comes with a cable uh, that cable is a little bit on the short side so you'll need to um, make it a little bit longer uh, if you have two pieces of, of another long cable or electrical cable hanging out there um, that might be useful after scraping the two contacts for the negative and the positive on the drone you'll need to make sure that the cable that the GoPro Hero 10 bones had you need to elongate that that um, cable in order for the contacts to reach the other end where the camera meets the connector or adapter. Make sure that everything is all lined up when putting the drone back together. And there it is, all assembled up. Now, you'll need to put a GoPro mount or at least I did with mine. I, I put uh, epoxy to secure it. I turn on the drone and as you can see when you power on the GoPro, the, po the GoPro powers on and it's ready to fly. Okay guys, so you've seen now the GoPro Hero 10 Bones quality 
versus the DJI Avada um, quality from that footage that I just uh, showed you guys. And yes, uh, the GoPro Hero 10 Bones, it has a lot more to offer in terms of video because you can record up to 5.3K at up to 24 frames per second, 30 and 60 frames per second, while the Avada, it only does 4K at 60 frames per second. So, uh, in my opinion, the GoPro Hero 10 Bones, it is um, a, a little bit of a more professional setup uh, when uh, you are trying to achieve the maximum results possible with this tiny new drone from DJI. And in my opinion, GoPro did an awesome job with this camera because even though this camera is getting the power from the batteries of the DJI Avada, I didn't find a significantly uh, a significant uh, draw in power or um, uh, reduction in flight time with the DJI Avada. And on top of that, it is so light that you barely, barely even notice when you are um, flying this drone. Yes, you do uh, get a little bit more um, faster uh, diving times because of the added weight, but it's, it is not that dramatic than mounting a full-size GoPro into the poor little drone. And yeah, that in that case, the drone it really struggles you really hear those motors like spinning like crazy but in this setup yeah it's it's almost a perfect match one thing that i have uh noticed is that the gopro hero 10's uh bones footage yes you have to put it through real steady and in the past real steady it seemed to to be very very slow um playback was a little bit limited because of the um, resource consumption that that program has into in your computer but now with the new GoPro player that you get when buying uh, a new Hero 10 Bones uh, GoPro Hero 10 11 I, I think that the GoPro um, incorporated real steady in a perfect manner because both clips from this GoPro which, which were like five gigabytes each they only uh, took 10 minutes to process. Yes, now you can batch um, process on real steady with the new GoPro player. And yes, the DJI Avada, I actually stabilized the footage using Gyroflow, which is a free to use program and it's really, really efficient. It also took like eight to 10 minutes. It took a little bit less because the files from the DJI Avada are very, very much uh, lighter than the ones from coming out of the GoPro. But all in all, I think that both did a great job. I do like a little bit more uh, the real steady because it is a little bit more dynamic when you're doing dives or when you're turning. It really stabilizes the footage uh, in a manner that it's, you, it looks unique and it kind of uh, removes that jerkiness from turns or dives um, when you are uh, shooting footage with a drone like this. All in all, if you are a pro that are wanting the maximum image quality and you want a nimble drone that you can fly in tight spaces, I say go for the combination between the GoPro Hero 10 Bones and the DJI Avada. It will give your workflow so much options when it comes to flying and image quality in that, in that regard. That, yes, it is a must for professionals. If you're only flying recreationally, stay with the DJI Avada and yes, I always recommend that if you are new to the FPV world, first take your time to learn how to fly the drone before strapping up a GoPro or any expensive equipment for that matter. And yeah, save yourself some bucks first. Okay guys, so please consider subscribing. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions and I will be seeing you in my next video.